Hi all, welcome to Dev2 Cloud Coding. So in this series, we are going to see about microservices. So basically, what are microservices and why we use microservices. Also down to the line, we are going to develop couple of microservices. We will make those microservices communicate with each other using REST APIs. Also, we are going to include this Spring Cloud framework to build our applications. So, for example, we are going to create API Gateway. Then we will do Discovery Service, Cloud Config, High Stakes, and all those things, right? So, before that, let's see what are microservices. So, basically, microservices are an architectural approach of developing softwares, where software is composed of small independent services that communicate with each other. Okay, so these services are like owned by a small and self-contained teams. So each service fulfills some specific uh, functionality or some business logic. Let's try to understand the difference between monolithic and uh, microservices. So with the monolithic architecture, all the processes are tightly coupled and run as a single service. Okay, whereas in microservice architecture, a single application is built as an independent component. So in monolithic, as I said, the processes are like tightly coupled. So if there is some impact on the one process and we want to deploy that, in that case, we have to deploy all the application, which includes other process. Whereas in microservices, suppose there is some problem with the one microservice and we need to redeploy it for some reason. In that case, uh, deploying that service, other services will not be impacted uh, by redeploying that service. So this series will be around two microservices. The one microservice will be a product and other is a shopping cart. Where the product microservice will return list of uh, products available in the inventory. Whereas in the shopping cart microservice, user can add those products into his cart. So, so these are the two microservices that we are going to develop. And these two services will be communicating with each other via REST APIs. Okay, so we are going to consume a product service in a shopping cart service via REST APIs. Other than this, uh, this product service will have its uh, database and shopping cart will have its own database where they will uh, persist the data required for their functionalities. Other than this, we are also going to implement uh, this uh, discovery service. Okay, where our product microservice and all other microservices in this architecture will register themselves on that discovery service. So whenever some service has to communicate with another, they will go back to this discovery service and get the details like host and port and where that basically that microservice is running. And based on that, they can communicate with each other. After we are going to create a gateway. So basically all the requests that are coming to our microservices should come via gateway and not directly to the microservices. Because when we move our microservices to the cloud, sometimes we need to scale them up and down. In that case, we can have multiple microservices, right? They might be running on different port. And due to some reason, we have to restart then again some new port assigned. So that port and the address will not be the static one. So all the requests should go to the gateway and gateway will route the request to the respective microservice so we will implement that gateway and we will integrate that gateway with the discovery service where our gateway will fetch all the microservices details from the discovery and based on the request it will route to that respective microservices now other than this we have lot of microservices which are using same configurations or same properties file all those small microservices are deployed in my production and up and running and all of a sudden i need to do some modification in that so the disadvantage will be like that i have to go to each microservice to do that uh, change and then again have to redeploy each and every uh, microservice so instead of doing that what we can do we can keep those common properties to our github repository and we are going to have this config server so basically this config server is going to be another spring boot application which will fetch all those properties from my github repository and it, it will pass on those properties to my different microservices so they can use it if in future if you want to change anything we just have to go to that repository and change it that's it okay and other than these services we are going to see about uh, high streaks where we will implement the resilience between two microservices so suppose one microservice is not able to communicate with other microservice then how we are going to handle it by using circuit breaker concept and fallback methods so we are going to see that as well tracing purpose so whatever the request we are having we want to just trace it down to the all microservices so for that we are going to implement uh, the sleuth and zipkin so other than this uh, there are many things that we are going to cover in this series so as we move on with our development i will add those as well 